This is Sean Paul Day, and as always, I'm winging it for all you knights of the road out there. I'm going to shoot this one straight from the hip because it concerns the grievance I have with the LTDA. About four weeks ago, just after the mayor's private hire proposals at City Hall, the LTDA emailed its membership, and within that email, they included that they had got a judicial review in progress that was almost identical to that of Save Taxi. Now, two days previously, Save Taxi had launched their Action for Cabbies campaign, which had been months in preparation, with a view to crowdfunding for a judicial review with regards to TfL licensing Uber illegally. Now, there's a lot of drivers that wanted this. There's a lot of drivers that really believed that TfL had broken a long-standing trade agreement. I was one of them. But what the LTDA did by emailing all those people that we do not have contact with was basically taking a sledgehammer, taking it around the back to save taxi and smashing their campaign to pieces. Now, this isn't just passivity. This isn't just the LTDA in some kind of sedation and not really doing much for the trade. This is the LTDA actively sabotaging something that could potentially be of great benefit. Now they'll come out with excuse after excuse. They'll also reiterate the peripheral JRs they have going at the moment, which are basically either tokenism or phony. But what we want and what I think drivers deserve of the LTDA, not just the members, because the LTDA elected themselves to be on the board of TfL, so they represent the trade as a whole. So everyone within the trade is entitled to an opinion on the LTDA. What the LTDA now need to do is to redeem themselves and make up the shortfall with Save Taxis Action for Cabbies campaign to take TfL to the High Court. Now, I feel that this is the only legitimate judicial review you could have going. I, I'm not interested in appealing the meter. It's dead in the water. I'm not interested in Tottenham Court Road because the LTDA was mugged off like they didn't even know their own trade. To think that you could get a ruling on the planning of the cycle superhighway was beyond ludicrous. What I am interested in is a direct, clear, concise judicial review what we all believe we stand a good chance or a fair chance of winning. And not only that, it doesn't really matter to me, to me. It doesn't matter even if we didn't win the fact that we could all come together as a cohesive unit and the orgs for once in their life, just once, and the LTDA for once in its life could show that they could transcend their protectionist little get up and work collaboratively with others to achieve something that is really beneficial for the trade. Now, it's no good the LTDA saying that, that if they had the government against them, that that's why we lost out with private hire regulation, because that effectively is saying that they are pointless. Now, none of the orgs can absolve themselves of responsibility. We all have to look at a different way, a way through and realise what went wrong before. The LTDA cannot go about as though it's business as usual. They're not just complicit in this. They are actively part of what, is, what finds us here now, which is a minuscule legislation from total organisation-wide deregulation. So they may look on this like they usually do as the arrogance of the drivers. But this is the arrogance of the drivers that 
is meeting with the utter arrogance of the LTDA that has mugged its membership off by saying that they have almost identical judicial reviews as though they are there as advocates and at the coal face for the trade when they absolutely do not have a parallel judicial review. Now, this is up to them. This is totally up to them. But I put it to the LTDA that we need real representation. We do not need tokenism. We do not need uh, the, the LTDA to spin people a yarn, spin its members a yarn, to do phony judicial reviews or token judicial reviews. We need the LTDA to get real. We need real representation. We need and want and deserve it because most of us have paid in for the duration of being in this trade. For those drivers who couldn't give £24 to save taxi, but have given £16 a month to the LTDA for say 20 years, are deservant of the LTDA coming through and showing the drivers that they can work with other groups, that they can transcend the taxi house up there. I'm going to leave it at that. But I'd like to hear your thoughts, guys. And I'd certainly like to hear from the LTDA. Thank you.